we just lost too many young ones, too much young one, you know? So today we're here in Baranga to address one of the most critical health issues in our nation and to make a big difference so that no children in Australia should undergo open heart surgery or die prematurely from rheumatic heart disease. Tragically, in remote communities, especially in Northern Australia and the top end of the Northern Territory particularly, we see some of the highest rates of rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease in the world. And so somebody picks up a strep infection or either on their skin or in their throat, they get sore joints, they get uh, fever, they might just feel a little bit unwell, but at the same time that that's happening, that they can get some damage to their heart valves as well. If we find them early, we can treat them early. We can get them on the prophylaxis injection because I know if we identify it late, it can lead to a lot of health problems in their heart. And then what happens to a lot of our kids, they have to go down to Melbourne or to Adelaide and have a big heart open surgery. We're here to educate children, their families and their communities about how we can work together to prevent rheumatic heart disease. And that really means echocardiographic screening. <laughs> We have taught local indigenous health workers on how to perform these scans so that they can work independently from tertiary centres and to be in charge of checking up on children's hearts in their own communities. We're looking for people who would be able to be trained to do echocardiography to diagnose rheumatic heart disease and uh, without looking too hard, Anne-Marie's name popped up and she was very keen to be part of it. Uh, and it was beautiful actually to have her as part of this. Um, she came with us to communities where she's got family and connections uh, and um, just has such a wonderful way in terms of leadership within a group, uh, but also in the way that she relates to people in the community. She really got involved in understanding more about rheumatic heart disease, but also around her developing the skill sets to be doing echocardiography on her own so she can visit places where doctors or heart specialists like myself and never get to go. We had our training in Darwin first, and then we went to Meningrita for another week. And by looking at those um, different community and with the rates of how many more new rheumatic heart um, disease we found, it was an eye-opening for me. That sort of really opened my mind and said, well, I can go further. How can I help my mob, you know? I was worrying about the Brunga kids. And that's what I said, I really wanted to happen in Brunga. And so uh, basically, Anne-Marie uh, made me promise that we would come here and uh, she's a hard person to say no to. It's wonderful to be here with her. She's been such an advocate, not only for her community, but across the work that she does with Sunrise Health Services in a number of communities in the top end. And so um, she's somebody who's well known and well respected in the Northern Territory. This is very important. I've, I've pushed for this for a very long time, scanning all our school kids. With the kids that I look after, and adults, that is on the prophylaxis um, injection, I make sure that they gotta go to the clinic every month and have at right time that injection. So Anne-Marie has uh, been actively involved in creating resources, giving us advice on what we can do better. She's great in translating the Creole uh, into the community and then helping engage community participation. So it, it's a really vital position in rheumatic heart disease to have these community-based workers and the echo uh, screening that she's been doing uh, and education at that same time is a great way forward to eliminate rheumatic heart disease. It's important to have countrymen working in the clinic. It makes it much easier to, and a lot of our people will understand because we speak the same language if they have to translate something that our countrymen don't understand. So more information is being spread out and by sitting, talking to family members, that's a very important one. I can't prevent rheumatic heart disease by being in Darwin. Prevention happens by local people at the local level who know the community can translate sometimes relatively complex messages into simple uh, terminology that people understand so we can work together to stop heart disease altogether. Their clinic, these mother are spot on. But because Sunrise looks look after nine clinics, 
We like to see all them clinics doing the same like what Branga does. We could find more, more kids with her HT. And I think us working all together, it, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it's really, really good.